Hey Turtle Squad, Kame Turtle here, bringing you another Turtle Time. This one's a bit different from what I normally do, where I'm just showing off the art I've got of my boy, Kame. Why, you might ask? Well, I needed something easy to edit for this week, and I just want to show off the art I've got of my boy. <laughs> Links to all artists will be in the description below. Be sure to check them out later. And I'll be showing some of the art that's not even been posted to my Fur Affinity account yet. I really gotta get around to posting them. Anyways, let's get a show on the road. All right, first up is the sprites. What do you see on the screen right now? These were made by the people over at Coffeine. I just really like them. I got inspired to commission some sprites from watching videos of Misha B. Barkin and Solar Saber. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should do more videos using sprites in the future. Alright, let's move on with the ref sheets. I have two ref sheets. First is by my sister, Rook the Crow. Get used to that name, you'll be hearing it a lot. This was a really cute piece in my opinion. And then I got a new ref sheet made in 2021 by Sharpnel Brigger. I think I got his name right. If not, sorry dude. This was an epic piece I got. Let's move on to badges. The most commonly cited piece of artwork at any furry meetups or conventions. I got a cute little feral badge from Cadden, who uses the handle for their social media, Please Feed the Bear. This was just adorable. Next, you'll see a, a badge by Rook the Crow where she just drew me in my current outfit at the time. Try to make it a, a whole piece actually instead of several different pieces. She did a great job in my opinion. The first ever batch I got was actually from Kita Mikichi of on DeviantArt. This was just a very cute piece. And then my one of my favorite badges to date. It and one of the most unique it was made by Sin Zimmery of Misty Hal Forgeworks, who made me a badge on leather. With the art of it being designed by Millie Griffin of Onyx Art Studios. You can check out a video of me talking about character badges pinned in the comments below, where I actually open up and get hold of the badge for the first time. Now let's move on to the headshots. First up is a simple headshot done by Shark Rabbit on Furry Amino. I like how simplistic it is. Well, not really simplistic, because girls are kind of hard to draw. I know, I've tried. Here's an epic glowing piece made by Creative Paws on Furry Amino. Unfortunately, I think their account got deactivated because I can't find them anywhere. And then, the newest one in the bunch by Sharpno Frogger again. Okay, let's move on to the half bodies. Here's one showing off Tommy dressed up by a bird to advertise my Twitter account. Yes, I have a Twitter account. By Rook the Crow. Here's Tommy wearing a Santa hat made out of bacon drawn by Belladonna Hops. Now for a highly detailed version of Kame drawn by Melby the Falk. Really love the channeling on this one. I got a realistic piece, it's black and white of course, by Long Gear Unique Eye. I got the one on a raffle really, so really happy about that. And to wrap up the half boys, here's a Simple sketch I got from Alex Vladimir, where I actually got a YouTube award. I don't have one yet, but one day I will. Thanks for your confidence, dude. Alright. Now we're on to the full body. A person full body is me being shy and holding a book. Drawn by Belladonna Hobbs. Here's a cute little chibi version of me. Drawn by Amber Ellis. I'm a big Tom and Jerry fan, so when I got this by John Malik, 
I just had to bust out laughing. I got a lovely little wife see of me holding a straight ally pride flag by Nekosak and a tough looking Kame drawn by RJ Kuma around Facebook. And now he's wrapping up the massive eyewood painting done by Rook the Crow. You can see me standing next to it for size comparison. Alright, time to wrap it up with odds and ends. Rook ended up draw painting me my name I'm on a canvas with the ta tattoo on my arm right above it. Somehow, Kame got transformed into a loaf of bread. I'm not sure how that happened. By nothing bars. And want to see Bio they drew Kame at the pony. Why did I get him at the pony? Well, you'll see in a future video. I want to give a big shout out to all the artists who drew me art. And hopefully it, this video will help support you guys as well a bit. Doesn't matter if these guys are super famous or just starting out as artists. They're all great. But speaking of artists, if you want to check out another video where I talk about my personal top 10 artists, you can see that linked in the cards above and description below. With that being said, if you liked what you saw uh, and want more, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like or maybe a comment. Share with friends, family, other furry friends you might know. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny! Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny!